Uh, I think the most fundamental question, honestly, is what is AI? What is AI is something that most people, most people use the buzzword. They, they know that AI is something big, that it's happening. But very few people actually know why is it so different. Because really, when you think about it, computers in the year 2000 uh, were extremely, uh, extremely intelligent. You asked Google a question, and Google expanded your horizons in ways that were really, really like science fiction, honestly. And uh, what most people don't understand is that there is a difference, a, a very significant difference between computers up to the turn of the century and beyond the turn of the century. Remember, there is a, a lot, there are still lots of computers uh, running traditional programming. And, and in traditional programming, let, let me give you an example. You know, if, if you have a child and you give them a puzzle, you know, a cylinder and a board with multiple shapes in it, uh, and, and I know it sounds really weird, but there will be some parents that will sit next to the child and say, no, 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 no. Yeah, just do it this way, right? And if you keep telling the child that, the child will do it this way, but they will not learn anything at all. They will become almost, you know, more and more stupid every time you force them to not think about the solution, but rather do what you tell them. And that was how we coded computers throughout our lives. I started coding at age eight on a Sinclair, if any of you have ever seen a Sinclair. And, uh, and uh, you know, it, it, the thing was very clear that th when there was a problem, I, the, the developer, solved the problem with my intelligence as a human. And then I found a way through code to tell the computer to do it over and over and over, very accurately at very, uh, you know, at scale, uh, in a way that made the computer look intelligent but I was the intelligent one. Now, that's traditional programming. Um, AI is different. AI is to give the puzzle to the child and tell the child, try. Keep trying until you figure it out. And, and when you figure it out, uh, you, uh, you basically let them keep trying until one time the cylinder goes through a round hole, and then they, f they realize that's the way to solve the puzzle. They go even further when you really think about it. You know, you take a child on a car, in a car, in a car ride, and the child doesn't come out memorizing the ride, but comes out of the car recognizing the essence of what a car is. And so, if it sees another car, if the child sees another car, it will, you know, he or she will point and say, car, right? Even if that car is a different shape and a different size and a different color and a different brand, they understood the essence of what makes a car a car. Now, we, we do that with AI too. This is what generative AI is, you know. It's showing them a massive amount of information but not asking them to memorize the information, but rather to intelligently internalize the information in a way that allows them to recognize those patterns in everything. This is what our AIs are doing today. They're generating things that never existed before, solving problems that we never taught them to solve. And most developers like us who uh, will want to take the credit don't actually know how they arrive at that intelligence. We really, truly do not fully understand. Uh, we, we know the top concepts, just like, you know, if, if I discuss something with you and you give me a good answer, I will know that this is an intelligent answer. I just don't know exactly the wiring in your brain that got you there. And I think that's the case with our AIs today.